Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 16 reveals some really exciting information. Like all 12 Gods of Destruction in the future are dead. As we know, currently the manga is way behind the anime series. In the first two arcs, the manga was actually ahead of the anime. So it had some importance and the fans checked out to know the story even before the anime. But as it lagged behind, the fans started losing interest on it. So it started to present the story in a different way as compared to the anime and altered some moments with minor changes. Like in the anime, Goku uses Kaioken over Super Saiyan Blue. But in the manga, Goku transforms into Super Saiyan God instead. Basically, Toriyama handed out the main storyline to them and Toei and Toyotaro are adding details and presenting it their way. So the manga and the anime can take the liberty to present the story in different ways, keeping the main plot intact. Unlike some of the previous manga chapters, this one was really good in terms of giving us the fans some value. It gives us some hints and also details some of the things that were shown in the anime. So if you are a Dragon Ball Super fan and want to understand what's happening in depth, this is one chapter I recommend you check out. Till now, DBS has aired 58 episodes. Goku, Vegeta and Trunks returned from the future after failing to defeat Goku Black and Immortal Zamasu. They then met with Whis and Beerus. After finding out that Zamasu threatened Zuno and combining clues from the future with that, they figure out Gawasu's life is in danger. So they head right off to Universe 10. Further from title and summary reveals of the upcoming episodes, we know that Zamasu will kill Gawasu and Beerus will destroy Zamasu. However, we are in a really confusing situation and the numbers of unanswered questions are just increasing. Zamasu inquired Zuno about the Super Dragon Balls and Goku. Though Whis makes some speculations as to what Zamasu wished for, it's still a mystery as to what Zamasu wished or will wish for. On the other hand, we have an immortal Zamasu and a Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black in the future. Speculations of Whis fail to explain why a copy of Goku would have Zamasu's key and his very own consciousness. Also, if Beerus kills present Zamasu in the coming episodes, we don't know how the dots between the present and future Black or Zamasu will eventually get connected. Dragon Ball Super has offered us the fans a very complicated and a hard to guess story. Using the clues in hand, we all are making our attempts at solving the riddle along with the characters themselves. Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 16 offers us some exclusive information. Previously, in Chapter 15, it was mentioned that the future Kaioshin is dead. As a result, the future God of Destruction is also dead. Because they are created in a pair and if one of them dies, the other must die too. This information was also mentioned in DBS episode 55, but Whis only explained the Supreme Kai, Beerus, Pear thingy and the death of future Supreme Kai weren't mentioned and will perhaps be covered in the coming episodes. But chapter 16 further continues this story as we get a more detailed version of the Trunks vs Dabura and Babidi fight. In the anime, a very short scene was shown along with Trunks' narration. It appeared more like Goku and others trying to imagine how he defeated them. But this manga version gives us the entire fight and the story which highlights the involvement of the Supreme and Kibido Kai and their death in this process. So in short, Trunks defeats Dabura and Babidi with the help of the Kaioshins. However, he couldn't save Kibito or Supreme Kai. The death of Supreme Kai also marks the death of future Beerus. I'm not sure how the life of old Kai would fit in here, we will see. From the presentation, it looks like Black observed this entire thing. He was probably there to kill the Supreme Kai but didn't need to do it himself. Anyways. 
it is revealed that Black actually killed all the Kaioshians of the remaining universes and so all 12 gods of destruction from 12 universes are now dead and he has no obstacles in his path. Of course, there is some confusion regarding this. What happened to Wiz, Vados, and the rest of their kind? Killing the Supreme Kais would only kill the God of Destruction. Could this mean they got withdrawn to somewhere else or something like that? Also, what about Omni King or the Grand Priest or other characters like that? Well, about Omni King, there's a theory that there is only one version of him since he is the god of everything. In that case, it could be possible he ignored timelines other than the main timeline. Toriyama while declaring this arc mentioned the Omni King will get involved in a battle surpassing time and space. We don't know how exactly he will be involved, but in the anime, he gave Goku a button by pressing which he can instantly be summoned. At some point, that might get pressed willingly or unwillingly resulting in his involvement. However, in the manga, this part has not been shown yet. In the anime, Kaioshian Beerus pair was explained before Goku went to Omni's place. But they already did that in the manga. But the Omni King hasn't called Goku yet. Since Zeno's involvement would be a major thing if it is to happen, it will be shown both in the anime and the manga. So unless they change the story later on, the Omni King will get involved in this chaotic battle. So what do you think about this? How do you think he might get involved and what role might he play? Anyways back to Goku Black, from this chapter it is confirmed his plan is to annihilate all mortals from all 12 universes. We don't know much about how he progressed. Trunks mentioned earlier that he killed beings of many other planets but we don't exactly know how many or things like that. If they are implying he already dealt with some other universes, then shouldn't he be facing opposition from other powerful beings like the Hitman Hit? These are some of the things that still remain unanswered. But one thing is confirmed, that he easily took out Kaioshins of all universes. They made a minor change in the manga. Instead of Goku, Universe 7's Kaioshins visit Universe 10 and fights Zamasu, where Kibito is pretty easily defeated by Zamasu. As you already know, Zamasu is a prodigy among the Kaioshins and is leagues above them. So this scene in particular reminds us that Zamasu would have no problem defeating other Kaioshins. In the manga, Goku didn't fight Zamasu as of yet, but he was mentioned by Supreme Kai and that obviously bothered Zamasu. Some might argue that making Goku fight was a better decision since it plays a major role in fueling his anger. What you have to understand here is, while making the manga, it's more about making it different from the anime, so sometimes Totaro opts to use the second best options. Because we don't need the same thing we already saw in the anime and I like this method. Besides, Goku will fight Zamasu in the future and it also looks like he will fight him once after he kills Gowasu, even though Beerus would be the one to ultimately destroy him. So I'm quite okay with these changes, which I find rather refreshing. I also like the take on the time ring here. It almost felt like Gawasu is ready to verify if the mortals are worthy enough to protect or not by going 1000 years into the future. The way he worded it, it almost felt like he would accept Zamasu's philosophy if the mortals remained violent. I'm pretty sure if they showed it exactly like this in the anime, Gawasu is black theories would become much more popular. Whenever Zamasu says the mortals should be killed, Gawasu reminds him it is the job of the God of Destruction. I wonder if this subconsciously affects his mind and he decides that the current God of Destruction isn't doing their job, thus he eliminates them first. We don't exactly know how the gods are appointed, it was stated a long time ago that they are born from a tree. Do you think it's possible that Zamasu and Black are playing the roles? God of Creation and God of Destruction respectively? 
What if we wish from Super Shenron to make them gods of destruction and creation? Keep in mind that using the time ring, they could get multiple wishes. Zamasu believes he is a hero and wants to establish his own brand of justice. So taking the matters of creation and destruction in hand and running it his way could be the answer. Goku Black in general seems very powerful. On the other hand, Zamasu is immortal. So you can't kill Black by killing Zamasu. Also, why are they only carrying out this strategy in the future and not in the present timeline is another mystery. Overall, manga chapter 16 was very satisfactory. Even with character designs, I think there are some things the manga is doing better. For example, in the anime, whenever Trunks transforms into SSG 1 or 2, his face gets a weird shape. But that problem is not there in the manga. They got to sort this shit out. We got a problem in hand, Trunks SSG looks weird AF in the anime. There's something wrong with the shape of his face, lacks details, and we need to fix it immediately. So certainly, there are some better sides in the manga. Overall, even though I prefer the anime, I think the manga is worth checking out. We also have a $20 Amazon gift card giveaway this week. All you have to do to participate is be a subscriber and leave a comment down below. See you in the next video.